Szanowni Państwo, witam na ostatnim. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our final session. Uh, just a short note uh, to our online viewers. Uh, there's a link on our website, forumedukacyzawodowej.pl. I will uh, take you uh, to a transmission of um, Mr. Wawrzyniec Pater's uh, workshop. And now I invite you to a workshop uh, devoted to ePAL, the internet platform, uh, to exchange experience for career counselors. I invite Justyna Bednarsfiuk, coordinator of the National ePAL uh, office, uh, to take the floor. Um, hello, I'd like to tell you about uh, the ePAL platform, a platform for um, adult learning. Has anybody used it? Um, I see one hand going up. In that case, I would like to tell you about ePAL and invite you to use it. Uh, the ePAL platform is a place online created by the European Commission, which brings together all adult educators and those working in adult development or adult learning. Uh, learning broadly understood. So I hope that uh, you, um, HR professionals, uh, as well as career uh, counselors, might be interested in this. Um, uh, what we understand by adults are people over 18 years of age. Uh, you can find a lot of inspirations and knowledge on ePAL. It's an international platform available in 36 countries in 32 language versions. So depending on our language skills, we can use uh, the English language version, which is the most popular. Uh, we can also uh, take advantage of um, other language versions. So how do you find it? Um, just Google ePAL. So this is the platform. Uh, we explore all areas of adult education in the broad sense of the term. Uh, new technologies in education. Uh, we have articles on vocational education. Uh, seniors education, cultural education. Uh, trainers, um, career counselors, uh, scholars, researchers, anybody working in adult education uh, can use ePAL. Uh, so these are uh, our four core areas, uh, creativity and culture, learning communities, skills revolution, and young adults. These are highlights for this year, but that's not all. What can you find on ePAL? Well, we have four basic functions. There is um, a current events page, so um, any grants you can apply for, conferences, um, important events, um, meetings for adult educators events organized by uh, us as the National ePAL office. So all the latest information. And there's also a blog which features articles written by members of our community, so practitioners, other adult educators, career counselors, texts um, on various topics in this area. There's also a library where we can find or upload publications, reports, a webinar recordings, or lesson plans with um, a comment as to why it's worth uh, checking them out. 
We also have dis a discussion page. These are international discussions. The European EPAIL office, the central office, uh, organizes discussions once a month or uh, once every two months uh, on various topics related to adult learning. Uh, one more important thing, you can also, once you've set up an account, you can also publish on the website. I'll tell you uh, later on um, how to do this, and I will also ask Piotr to distribute an instruction uh, pertaining to how to publish on ePAIL, uh, the platform, how to set up an account, and how to uh, put your content online. Uh, the Polish ePAIL office has prepared a special thematic, um, a, a range of thematic pages. So they've grouped articles on ePAIL under subject headings, which may be of interest to you. I especially recommend um, employee development or career counseling for adults. Um, these are two interesting headings. There's inspiration for trainers, new technologies, and adult learning. Um, you can find it either on the main site by clicking on thematic pages or by uh, searching for professional counseling ePAIL, and that will take you to the thematic site with articles on the subject. So here we have um, adult career counseling uh, grouped into working methods, uh, the role of a career counselor, and various types of subheadings um, that you can uh, click on and uh, get to relevant information. We also have um, career development, uh, webinar recordings, podcasts, uh, a lot of very interesting content that is um, worth checking out. And moreover, I don't know if you can see this uh, well, you can also have a look at other areas. Uh, to do so, uh, click on Learn, uh, then we uh, choose the tab Topics, and then we can uh, select the topic of interest to us. How can we find an educational event on ePAIL? There is a uh, calendar uh, or upcoming events on the platform um, where we can search for events all over Europe and in Poland, uh, events designed for adult educators. And all um, events in this sector. Uh, so Again, we click on contribute or learn. Um, then we select events and we can filter either by um, time period or by language or by event subject, by country, by whether it's a free or paid event um, online or um, live event. You can also add your own events. You can add links to your conferences uh, that you are doing for adult educators. So here in the upper uh, right-hand corner, um, you can click on Add Event. Uh, to use the ePAIL platform, all you have to do is uh, set up an account on EU Login. If you already have an account on EU login because you've uh, used Erasmus or you have worked with uh, the foundation for the development of the education system and they gave you such a login, you can use that same data to log on to ePAIL. If you don't have an EU login, all you have to do is register. Uh, what you need is your name and uh, last name and an email address. So registration is free and it gives us access to all the content as well as many other opportunities, uh, which I will go into in a second. So uh, we register, we log in uh, with our EU login. After you register, I encourage you to uh, fill out your profile. So you um, go into My ePAIL, uh, you choose My Profile. Why is this uh, worth doing? Well, ePAIL makes it possible for you to network with other users, uh, which um, so if other people are 
looking through the um, user's catalog or you're, you've authored a text and somebody wants more information about you or wants to contact you, um, they can do that via uh, the ePayL platform. So it's worth um, just saying a few words about you uh, to let others get to know you. Uh, in your profile, it's also worth um, clicking on edit and make sure that you have checked off uh, um, permission for the ePayL Poland office to contact you. So if you want to, if you ever want to publish a text on ePayL, um, that way we can help you. Um, upload a photo or a recording or a publication um, that gives us uh, the possibility of um, contacting you. If you don't want to be contacted, uh, by all means, you're free um, not to check off that option. What else can uh, the ePayL platform offer? We are an online community of adult educators. and. Um, there are people behind this platform, so we encourage you to get to know our experts, our ePayL ambassadors, who represent adult education across a range of areas. We have trainers. Uh, we have experts on new technologies. <coughs> we also have librarians, cultural educators, but we also have HR specialists and career counselors. Uh, we have an ambassador with us today, uh, Professor Małgorzata Rosalska, who often publishes on ePayL and whose texts 